Like I said, um, I've grown my hair out for seven months now. So it's seven months since I last got a haircut, which is actually a short haircut from the Turkish barber, which is quite ironic. So I've grown this out from basically a really short, typical, trendy haircut, which is quite strange. And yeah, because I feel like if you grow a haircut out from, um, you know, a trendy haircut nowadays, but it's like really long at the top, which I actually look quite stylish. But almost a year ago, I had my haircut. My hair was quite short at the size, maybe four or five at the size, and it was a lot longer on top. But the thing is, I got my hair cut soon after because you can't really grow your hair out from that because I think the hair would grow out a bit too imbalanced. I don't think you can really grow your hair out um, in that respect from from having a haircut where it's really long on the top because it wouldn't look like this. It'll look, the, you know, the sides would be shorter, look a bit strange. I don't know really, but but yeah, that's what I've done, and um, yeah, I think I look quite nice. I think the hairstyle sort of suits me. Um, yeah, it looks quite nice. I think it makes me feel feel good and stuff, and uh, yeah, like I said. Um, you know, Sumin and guys aren't really supporting this hairstyle. And if anything, I actually shaved. It's been like two days since I shaved. It's been a few days since I shaved. I can see I'm still sort of growing back slightly, but I'm grateful that I'm able to grow out amazing, juicy, luscious hair out like this. It's, it's, it's a good thing for me. You know, have the right mindset about things. Um, you know, whether you're into the gym, you're working out, or whether you're doing something else. Like I said, it's good to change your appearance. I like looking like a different person. Yeah, because many guys don't change their appearance enough, I don't think. Cause a lot of the time, yeah, they might shave the beard off, they might trim it down. But generally speaking, the hair stays the same. They, know, they never, they come to a point in their life where they're constantly having a faded haircut from the barbers, Turkish barbers, and, they, and they're never going to have a fringe. They're never going to grow their hair long at the sides and have a fringe. You just can't imagine that. Look at a lot of these footballers playing. You know, I, you know, I support Man United, and you know, not just them, but just the whole team, and even other footballers. You just look on TV and you see all the footballers and everything. You can't imagine them ever growing their hair long again, like along at the sides and having a fringe. But yeah, I think everyone's just got a sort of, you know, everyone, everyone's different, aren't they? We're all different, we all have different likes and, and dislikes, we all have different, you know, desires, and, you know, we, we, all have, we, all, we all have a want, we all have a need, we all have a feel, we all have, you know, something to do, we want to feel important, feel special, feel unique, um, have tranquility, elegance, have an essence about yourself. It's important you've got to know where you are with that, and be happy that you're in that position, I feel. Because um, not everyone is. I mean, you know, look what's happening in Turkey at the moment. You know, I'm not talking about the Turkish barbers. I'm talking about something serious. I'm talking about what's happening with the earthquakes and all these poor people. You know, I think Anthony Joshua said something recently. One of his um, pre-match things for this Franklin um, match in April. We should be fighting this Tyson Fury, really, but that fell through. I think I did a video about Undisputed and everything a few months ago, and I had short hair and a beard. I, I remember doing that. You might be. I might t link in the description. But, but yeah, um, in the thing he said, um, you know, I'm, I'm not. I'm not under pressure. You know, me going to the gym, me me um me going to the gym, me going to the gym, um, you know, me me walking out into the ring to fight this guy Franklin or something to do a boxing match and entertain the crowd. That's not pressure. Pressure is when the t people in Earth, people in Turkey, have got this earthquake and a lot of them under rubble can't escape. That's pressure, and it's and it's true. You know, a lot of time, yeah, we don't take that on board. We're not thankful for how lucky we are in that respect. So um, you know, I think people have got to realise that. Realise that life is more than just you know. Bolts, beans, and gravy. I don't know. Just what's what's on the plate. But bolts, beans, bolts on the plate. On the plate, aren't they? Oh, I said that wrong. Sorry. I meant beans, gravy, and vegan burgers. Or something. Um, but you know, we've got to be grateful. How lucky we got in this country. And in perspective, is massively important in that respect. It's like you know, you got you got to count yourself lucky. Um, in that respect, be happy with the position you're in. Because um, you know, not everyone, not everyone's as lucky as you. Not everyone has the ability to change like that. Not everyone can. Um. I'm going to leave the video as it is now because, yeah, um, I filmed some videos on my phone my, uh, yes, the other day and my phone's sort of not run out of space but I, I want to do it on my Canon camera and yeah, because I've still been doing too many videos because so, what it is, is when I shaved a few days ago, I always get sort of this thing where I have to film myself if I shave and whatever, which is not ideal really, that's why I kind of, put, I kind of wish I'd just get the haircut and grow the beard out because I think the beard is like a safety barrier for me, when I grow the beard out I don't have to film myself and stuff, but when I look clean shaven, you know, I only went clean shaven a few months ago for the first time in like four years. So even now when I'm going clean shaven, it's been a few months. It kind of it feels like I feel where my hair looks, for looks, it looks quite a unique look. I don't feel any guys at all look like this now. So you know, the hair and the, and the beard, it, no guys look like this. Maybe one in, one in a hundred guys look like this. So yeah. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, <laughs> leave it as that for now. And um, yeah, hope you enjoy this video. So this is my main channel, Elliot Rai. Um, I'm still posting on my other channel, just Elliot's channel. So I'm posting on a few other channels. Elliot vlogs. I haven't done a, a video in a bit though, because it's hard. I usually just set, set it up in a, you know, whatever. But yeah, um, hope you enjoy this. Take something from it, and yeah, hope you like my swishy hair. And perhaps if you're a guy watching this, 
Why don't you grow your hair out and have a look like this a little bit, maybe? So against the, the barbers and having a sh it shunned by the signs. Why don't you grow your hair out? If you're a girl watching this, do you want to go on a date? <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Oh dear. Right, okay. Right, let's leave it as that now, I think. So yeah. Like I said, the right topic should be attracting all the women, because, you know, I'm a hair, innit? Hair's a sign of health. Why would a girl go out with a guy with a short fade, bland, boring haircut, or half bald, or losing their hair, or going grey, when you can go out with a nice guy with a twishy, amazing, dark, luscious, amazing, thick, incredible hair? Okay? Whatever, innit? <laughs> Biology is... That's just, that's just human nature, so yeah, let's leave it as that.